and then it's air sealed in another. Oh no. Okay, well, the only thing I can do is just keep going. So let me see if I can. Oh wow. Yep, this leaked everywhere. Yep, these are trash. Okay, so we're gonna have to repurchase these Petri dishes. And we're gonna try this again at a later date. All right, we're trying this again. <laughs> Take two. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me today. I apologize for not having a video up last Saturday. I was doing some traveling from work, so I didn't have a chance to film and edit a video in time for Saturday upload, so I apologize. But uh, now I'm back, and we are going to try this video again. This is the video that was supposed to go up last Saturday, but we had some issues. From the clips in the beginning, I uh, had a little bit of a mishap with the Petri dishes. So I'm getting ahead of myself, but basically what I'm doing today is I am testing this Tech Candy UV sanitizer product um, to see if it actually works. So I got this in my spring FabFitFun box and I've actually been thinking of doing this video for quite a while. I've seen these everywhere in stores, online, Amazon, you name it, there's hundreds of these everywhere. So I wanted to test one and see if they were actually work. Um, price ranges on these is as cheap as $20 all the way up to a couple hundred dollars. This Tech Candy is $60, so this is kind of a nice, not quite cheap, cheapo version, but definitely an affordable item. So, round one of this video, my Petri dishes leaked, so I had to purchase some more. And we are going to be testing uh, my phone which I have held off on doing any kind of cleaning on this thing uh, for two weeks now. Uh, we are going to be doing a couple makeup sponges. Again, these haven't been cleaned for a couple weeks, which just really grosses me out. Anyways, we're gonna do some of my face brushes. I feel like just because this comes in contact with a lot more surface area of your face and gets exposed more that if they're gonna be dirty these are the ones that are gonna be nasty so we're gonna clean those hopefully and then the true test of all of this is I wear an Invisalign retainer uh, at night I wore this last night um, I have not cleaned it yet today your mouth is nasty, there's gonna be bacteria on this. So the true tester of whether or not this thing actually works is gonna be this guy right here. So without further ado, I'm gonna do my top-down camera and we're gonna do a little bit of science to see if this works. So hold tight. Okay, so the kit that I purchased the second time around is Easy Bio Research, and this is a bacteria science kit and it comes with pre-port, poured LB agar plates and cotton swabs. So um, the instructions are extremely simple. Um, trying to remember my days back in science class and going through all that. We're just gonna try and pull these out as gently as possible without opening them. Oops. So essentially what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swab these before they go into the sanitizer and then I'm gonna swab them after and we're gonna let them do their thing for a couple days and then we'll see what we got. So the first item I'm going to swab is my phone and I like that everything is kind of sterilized here in these like pre-packs. do a couple swabs here.
That's dish number one. We're gonna do phone before. Set that off to the side there. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do all of these befores and then I will get the sanitizer hooked up. We'll do a real quick montage of everything going in and see how that works. Okay, so let me hook up the uh, sanitizer and we'll get to sanitizing everything and we'll do the second round of swabs. So hold on. Okay, so I've got it hooked up. Uh, instructions are extremely simple. You just plug in the cord at the top. There's the charger right there. It's a USB charging, so I've got that all plugged in. And all you have to do is open this way turn it so it's a little bit easier. Got your UV lights in there. We're going to start with the phone. Turn it on. You will see that the light lights up and it'll shut off in five minutes. So we're going to speed through this. Okay, so you can see the light has gone off. So five minutes is up. Uh, the instructions do say that if you want to, you can flip it. So I'm going to do this as thoroughly as I can. So we are going to flip this because the bottom of the phone was down, not facing the UV light. So we're going to flip it over and do this again. So boop. Okay, so the phone is done. So I am going to use some hand sanitizer because I do not have any rubber gloves that be able to pick this up and not contaminate it with my hands so we're gonna open this okay so the phone is now done I'm gonna repeat this process with all the other items and we'll just kind of speed through this so this video is not a million minutes long so here we go All right, all of the Petri dishes are filled, labeled. I've put them in my makeshift incubator. Uh, they have to be at about 85 degrees. So I have a seedling warmer that I am using uh, in the meantime to help incubate any germs. So we'll let them sit for 24 to 48 hours. I'll leave them up to 48 hours to see what we got. And I will see you guys then. Okay, so it is two days later, and I forgot how gross this whole process is. So I opened uh, the Petri dishes, and the smell that came out of here is just nasty. So let me go ahead and do a close-up shot of all the before Petri dishes and the after, and I will give you my conclusion on whether or not I think this thing actually works. So... Let me flip you around here. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the befores. So this first one is the retainer. This is the sponge. This is the brush. And this is the phone. So there is bacteria in every single one of these before Petri dishes. So this is where it gets kind of a little tricky and I almost think I might have to redo this to see if this actually worked. 
Um, but let me show you the afters. So here is the retainer after. I'm getting quite a bit of glare, so I apologize. There is bacteria still in there, but it is not as pronounced as before. So next we have the sponge. And there is almost nothing in here. There is a tiny little speck right there. And again, there's the before. And there's after. Next, we have the brush. And just like with the sponge, there is just this tiny little spot right there. And again, here's the before and after. And then we move on to the phone. There's still quite a bit of bacteria on this one. So here's the before. And here's the after. So pretty gnarly stuff. This is really gross. <laughs> uh, there was bacteria on everything before. The sponge and the brush, it seemed like it worked on, but for the retainer and the phone, the retainer, it definitely looks like there's less bacteria in the after Petri dish, but the phone actually still looks like it has a lot of bacteria. So I'll be honest, I am not 100% sure if this actually works. I think it partially works, but do I think it takes away 99% of the bacteria that is present? No, I'm a little shocked at the retainer. I mean, there is definitely less bacteria in the retainer, but there's still quite a bit. For me though, I think this is one of those things that it's a little bit gimmicky. This is just my opinion. I can't speak to the $300 ones. I really hope that at that cost, that those items would actually do what they claimed. I feel like if they didn't, we would be hearing more and more claims of people saying they're fraudulent, they don't do anything. Um, but unfortunately, I think with this kind of technology, you are gonna have to pay more money to get the results that you want. Do I recommend it? I, I don't know, to be honest. Again, I feel like this is just one of those gimmicky hype products right now, especially with everything that's going on. People are really pushing the sanitizing products. So to me, this is not worth it, unfortunately. I would rather just pay a couple bucks for cleaning solutions and just do the man work myself. Again, that's my opinion. So that is everything I have for you today. This is really gross. <laughs> I don't get grossed out very much by this, but seeing what is actually on the products that I touch the most, especially my retainer, it's just, it's just nasty. So I'm going to go clean this up and thank you for sticking with me to the end. Let me know what you thought in the comments down below based on these Petri dishes. Do you feel it worked? I'm still not 100% convinced that it's doing what it claims it can do. So let me know. Uh, I will put a link down below to the Petri dish kit that I bought off of Amazon. Um, if you want to do your own little science experiment. And if you do, please let me know how yours turned out because I would love to see if maybe this was just kind of a weird fluke or, or what. So uh, definitely keep me posted on your end as well. And that is everything I'm gonna have for you today. Thank you for sticking with me to the end. Um, if you aren't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. It would mean the world to me. I post every Wednesday and Saturdays, except obviously for this past weekend, which again, I'm so sorry about. So I will get back to a normal schedule of Wednesday and Saturdays coming up here in the upcoming weeks. So thank you again, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.